Good evening, Lily. How are you today? Good evening, Lily. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thank you. Okay. Okay, did you have any problems in uh, connecting? No. Yes, because yes. it's unstable. Ah. Like, ah, okay. Good evening, Maria. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thanks to you. I'm fine, thanks for asking. How was your day today? I am very busy, teacher. I finished uh, the section four and section five and the final exam. This okay, evening. so you finish, okay? Now, don't forget to connect, okay? Because uh, it's good to practice, all right? Okay. Even though that you have finished and, and that you already have your certificate, okay? Uh, how was your day today, Lily? Good, teacher. Good. Okay, very good. Uh, Maria, did you have any problems connecting? Uh, no, teacher, no. Okay. I don't have any problem. Okay, very good, very good. I'm glad that that happens. Okay, we're going to wait, uh, you know, like three or four minutes. So let your other classmates uh, get in. Okay. So tell me, uh, how are things going? How is uh, your family's health? All right? 
What is health? What means health? Health, health salud. In Spanish? Ah, salud. salud. Okay, health. Uh -huh. health. Okay, okay. Is everybody okay? Healthy? Yes, teacher. My my family is is yet in in a hospital today. Mm. Oh. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But they are under control already, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. And my family is Thank you. okay, teacher. Thank you. Your family is okay too. Okay, very good. Glad to hear that. Okay. And your family teacher is okay? Everybody is okay. Is healthy. Healthy. We have him. Uh, we haven't been sick and we haven't uh, we haven't had uh, anybody with uh, with this coronavirus. Okay, one more minute, one more minute. Good evening, Ivan. How are you today, Ivan? Hello, teacher. I'm good. What about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, did you have any problems connecting? No, I, I was just looking for the ID. Uh, okay, very good. Good evening, Mario. How are you today? Hello, Mario, can you hear me? It seems like Mario can't hear me. Okay, guys. Ah, hello, Mario. Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. How was your day today? Uh, mm. No, oh, interesting to be sincerely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, did you have any problems connecting tonight? Just with the internet, a little, a little bit problem, but it's, it's, it's working okay right now. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, we're going to start, okay? And, uh, Go ahead. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that uh, 20 minutes to 8, I sent uh, more exercises on Simple Pass. It's another good document that it says simple past and present perfect. Okay, so have it available just in case we need it today. But we certainly we are going to work with it tomorrow night. Okay. 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 Right now, I'm just going to get to. Um, to uh, where we stopped yesterday. Uh, I don't know if we finish, we finished the first exercise, right? With uh, choosing the past simple or the present perfect, correct? Hello, hello. Yeah, we, we, uh, we finished yesterday. We finished that one, but we didn't finish yeah. the second one, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, yes, yes, a reminder. Yes, a reminder. When do we when do we use each one? Okay. Here we said, what's the difference? Present perfect, present perfect simple unfinished actions that is started in the past and continues to the present. Simple past, finished action. Okay, and a finished action in someone's life if they are still alive, okay? Because they can still do that, okay? But if they are dead, obviously we have to use the simple past. Uh -huh. And uh, finish action with a result in the present is with, sim uh, with present perfect. A finish action with no result in the present, simple past. 
with an unfinished time work, like for example, this work, this week, this month, something that shows that it still can happen, uh, present perfect. With a finished time work, like last week, last month, yesterday, yesterday morning. So that is a, uh, with simple past, okay? Okay. So let's see. Okay, so the second one, right? So here, uh, what is number one, Lily? Uh, wait a minute, teacher, please. Okay, I wait, no problem. I I saw Tripoli's cars this morning. Yes, because this morning is already finished. So I saw three police cars this morning. Okay, very good. Maria Reyes, number two. After he arrived home. Uh -huh. Arrived home, he unpacked. Unpacked. Unpacked pronunciation um, with T, unpacked. Unpacked. And, and went to bed early. And went to bed early. And you remember this is a series of events in the past. That is correct, very good. Now, Ivan, number three. What's wrong? I broke a glass. I broke a glass, that is correct. Okay, number four, uh, Mario. My grandparents only know each other for a few months before they got married. Now, this is simple pass or present perfect? Uh, this is simple pass. Simple pass, and what is the past no, tense no. of no? Uh, new, new, sorry. New, right, okay, very good. So my, my, my grandparents knew, right? Yeah. New. Okay, very good. Uh, broke, okay, when unpacked and arrived. Okay, and so. Okay, very good. Uh, Cindy, what about number five? Hello, I was in London for three years. Okay, I very good. The, I was I in London it. for three years because that action is already finished and I love it there. Well, I love it here. Okay, uh, no. Because I love it here. She's still there. So again. I have been in London for three years. Uh -huh. It has to be. I have been in London for three years. And I love it here because she is still there. So have been. Very good. The next one. Linda. The next one, please. Okay, number six. We saw Julie last night. We saw Julie last night. Okay, very good. The next one, Eleonora. Number seven. He, he been, he been a, a teacher now. Uh -huh. Is he a teacher now? He has been a teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. How is it, Eleonora? He, he being a teacher before he became, become? no. Okay, now what is he now? A teacher or a musician? Um, a musician teacher. A musician, uh -huh. so this a teacher already finished. So? Uh, eh, discúlpeme, pero sí es que es que me, me conecté un poquito tarde y, y no, no he seguido el hilo de la de la clase. Discúlpeme por. It's okay, Stop. but it's uh -huh. the same thing, Eleonora. 
Uh, remember, if the action is finished, simple past. If the action started in the past and continues into the present, is present perfect. You remember? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, is he is he still a teacher? No, right? So this is simple past. What is the simple past of B for he? Was. Okay, okay but let, let, let her think, okay? Let her think. What is the simple past of the verb B, Eleonora? Was, no. Was, right? Uh -huh. So he, he was a teacher. He was a teacher. Before? Before he be, became, became uh -huh. a musician. Became a musician. And became is already finished because okay. he now is a musician. Okay. okay. Very yes. good, very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carla Rodriguez, number eight. Number eight. Uh, when the boss was walking into No, no, the... no was walking. Remember, we're working only with simple past and present perfect. Was walking is past progressive. Walked. Uh huh. Walked because he says right here when, and that is a specific time. So when the boss walked into the room, uh huh. Continue, please. We knew some someone was going. Uh huh. Someone. Was, was going, going to get fired. Someone was going to get fired. That is correct. Okay. When the boss walked into the room, we knew someone was going to get fired. Both actions are already finished. Okay. Irving, number nine. Okay. The children broke. The window in the school last week. Uh huh. The children broke the window. A window in the school last week because it is a specific time, simple past. Very good. Lily, again, number 10. He saw the film last year. He saw the film last year. That film last, last year. Very good. A specific time. Uh, Cindy, number 11. Um, Lucy has broken her leg so she can't come in. Okay, in this one, I'm going to make a, a comment. Okay, it's better what you say. Lucy has broken her leg. her leg. Okay, why? Because we have a present result. She can come skiing when? Now. So this is the result. The result is that she can come skiing because she has broken her leg. Okay, so that is the best. Now, can you say Lucy broke her leg so she can come skiing. It's okay too, no problem. But this is better. Do you understand? Hello? Yeah, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Very good. Ivan, the next one, please. Julie has arrived. Come and say hello. Juicy has arrived. Uh, okay, now, yes, because it's a present result. Julie has arrived. Come and say hello. Okay, very good. Now, the next Be one. Sure. Yes, sir. Sure. In that example, you can use to. Julie, arrive. Right. Come and say hello too. 
to yeah, then use the whole form, right? Yeah, it's the same as the other one because okay. it says come and say hello. So that is a present result. So it's better to say has arrived. Okay. But you can also say Julia arrived, come and say hello. It's okay. Okay, but the most the, the most appropriate is present perfect because it has a present <coughs> result. Okay? Okay, okay. Very good. Uh, who is next? Linda, number 13. Okay. For me, they, they was around. Okay, now, what is the, the past tense of the verb be for day, Linda? For he, she, and it is, and I is was. But for they, what is it, Linda? Where? Uh huh. Yes, yes, I know. Okay. Where? Uh huh. Where? So they were cold. Where? They were cold when they. Yes. Arrived. When they arrived. Home. When they arrived home. Okay. Very good. Okay, that is perfect. Okay, the next one, number 14, Eleonora. Yes, I know. Teacher, break. Um, Jack. Jack broke his arm. Jack broke. Okay. Now, yeah. is that simple past or present perfect, Eleonora? Uh, simple past. Simple past. What is the past tense of break? Broken. No, broken is the past participle. Uh, Broke. Uh, broke. Broke. Okay. Now that is correct. So Jack broke his arm when he fell. When he fall. Uh, fall. fall. Now, what is the past tense of fall? Uh, if you don't know, it's okay. Look it in the list of verbs that I gave you. You remember the list of verbs? Yeah. Yes. Look in the yeah. list of verbs. Okay. Um. Falling. No, falling is the past participle. Uh, what is the failed. simple past? Failed. Okay, failed. give her the opportunity to, to say it. Uh -huh. Eleonora? Um, failed teachers. Failed, <laughs> that is correct. Uh -huh. Okay, so that is correct. Okay. Fell so, off a horse. Uh -huh. right. Fell off a horse in 1995. And it's a mm -hmm. specific time. So that is correct. Both in simple past. Okay, very good. Uh, Brenda Ramirez, number 15. Are you there? Yes. Okay, Brenda. Now, here about the problem for months. Now, is the problem is still present today? No. Uh huh. Is the problem is still present today, Brenda? No. Yes. Because it says about the problem for months. So I mean, months back or months ago, I knew about the problem. So what is what is correct to use here, Brenda?
<laughs> yes, Brenda, what is correct to use here? Sorry, sorry, new. Uh, no, because if the problem is already finished, I will say I knew. knew she, I knew. Uh -huh, knew in the simple past, knew. but here the problem is still in the present. So you have to say, no. I have no. known no. about no. the problem for months. Okay? And continue. The participle. Uh, okay? okay? Yo he sabido del problema por meses. Uh, but, okay. but, I, but, I didn't. No, because the solution is still not, is, uh, the solution hasn't been uh, encountered yet. So, but I, I haven't. I haven't found, I haven't found a solution yet. So that means, okay. pero no he encontrado una solución todavía. Okay? So it has to be that way. I've known about the problem for months, but I haven't found a solution yet. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's see who is next. Let me see. Maria Reyes, number number sixteen. When where did you arrive? Question. When is a question? Yes. When where did you arrive? No. Is when where arrived you? No. The answer when is have... at ten p.m. last night. So what is the question? When um, is, is oh, the simple pass? Simple pass. Yeah, the question when is you, the simple pass. When you arrive? No. How do when, we make question in the simple pass? When did? When did you arrive? Yes. Okay. But let her give a time to think. Okay. Now let me take you. Okay, here we have the question. How do we make questions? Uh, when Maria? Did, okay. okay. In the simple past, we make questions with this, right? So let's go back to it. Okay. So when? When did you arrive? When did you arrive? That is correct. That is the correct question. And look at the answer. At 10 p.m. last night. Very yes. good. Okay. Thank you, okay. teacher. No problem. Very good. Uh, Mario Marenko, number 17. She has been a teacher for 10 years and she is still enjoy it. Yes. So she is still a teacher. So she has been a teacher for 10 years and she still enjoys it. Okay. Number 18, Eleonora. Oh, man, my time passed I I didn't so no I didn't see the sea before Yes that is possible I didn't see the sea before but because the sea before makes a connection with the present is better to say I haven't uh, I haven't see, see the, the sea, sea before. The sea before. Okay. okay. But if you say I didn't see the sea before, is also okay. But it's better this one because you can see that there is a connection with the present. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Very good. Uh, Brenda Ramirez, number nineteen. Um. Have you long? 
Uh -huh. How long? The question word is how long? How? 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 You? New long? New no. What long? is the past participle of the verb? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What is no, it? No. Ah, okay, very good. How long have you known? How you? long, Jill? I know you see her often. That is, is it is a question. I'm sorry? It's a question. Yes, it's how, a question. How, how long how, have you known? How long? Yes, how long? Oh, sorry, how long have you known? How long? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, I know. I know you see, you see her often. Her often. See. Okay, very good. You see, there is a connection with the present. Very good. Okay, uh, Jose Antonio, number 20. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. It's me. I just want to say, I have a right to say anything is fine. Okay, now, uh, have arrived or arrived? Arrived. Exactly, okay, so it has to be, I arrived. That action is already finished. Very good. Okay. Okay, I arrived safely and everything is fine. Okay, very good. Now I have sent to your, I have sent to your emails another, more exercises. I send them to, uh, tonight around 7.30, 20 to 8. Uh, I don't know if you can see them on your, on your computer or on your phone. Okay, let me show you. Okay, 8 to 9. So I sent this document to your simple past and present perfect. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Can you see it right here? This document, simple past and present perfect? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Yes, teacher. So no, that is, I don't, I don't you, can, you, can, you can open it and have it available. Now I have it, I have it here, okay? Well, I'm gonna pull it from here. Okay, so I have it here. Now let's see, simple past and present perfect, the same thing, you have to choose. Okay, now let's see number one, uh, Irving. Did you like the movie Star Wars? Uh, I don't know. I have so never that movie. No. Remember, simple past or present perfect. Okay. Is uh. I don't know. I saw. Why? The movie. No. No. You have to use have to present perfect because it's a connection with the present. So Not let's finished. help. Let's help. I don't uh, know. Irving. I. I have never I seen know. that movie. I have never seen that movie. I... Right. Okay. That is the connection, right? I have never seen that movie. Did you like the movie Star Wars? I don't know. I have never seen that movie. It's the same thing like in Spanish. ¿Te gustó Star Wars? A saber, yo no le he visto esa película. Yo nunca le he visto. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, Antonio, number two. Sam, how a right in San Diego a, a week ago. Ah, but a week ago is a specific yes. time. Yes. Antonio, um, so what it should be? Yes. Um, and it's past. Sam, a right in San uh -huh. Diego a week, a week ago. Exactly. Sam, a right a week in San Diego a week ago. That is perfect. Linda, number three. Okay. Hold a second. Number three, number three. 
Yes, I know. Hold a second. I read the question. No, it's number three. My best friend. My best friend. I know. And I have no uh, each have. other for over 15 years. Okay, and have what what is the past participle of no? No. No, the same. Yes. No, what is the past participle of no? No. No, 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 no. no new right. is past. Uh-huh. No. So, and that is correct. But continue, Linda. The whole sentence. My best friend. Yes, my best friend and I have known each other for over 15 years. We still get together once a week. You see, there is a connection with the present, right? Yes, I know. So present perfect, very good. Yes. Cindy, number four. Teen song is a fantastic writer. Writer, uh huh. He have wrote, he have wrote, wrote. I, I don't now, What is the past participle of write? If you don't know, go to the list. Go to the list and okay. make sure that you give me the correct past participle. Yeah, but give Cindy a chance to look for the past participle of that verb. Don't say the answer, guys. <laughs> Has written, written. Then very uh -huh. written. written. Has written. Then very creative, creative. Uh -huh. short, creative short stories in the last year. One day he'll be a famous. As I don't know, Hemingway. <laughs> as Hemingway. Hemingway. Hemingway was another famous writer. So he has written 10 very creative short stories in the last year. Now, uh, because here we have last year, probably here has to be he. Probably we need past tense, Cindy. Okay. What so is the past tense of writing? He's a fantastic writer. He wrote them very creative short stories in the last year. One day he'll be a famous as Hemingway. Hemingway. Okay, but in the last year he wrote them very creative stories. Now, probably if he has been this year, probably we can use he has written. Maybe he can write more, but last year is already ended. Okay, number five, Lily. I haven't. I haven't did much wait. fun. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't. The, the main verb is have. Uh, uh, so I haven't. And the past participle of have? Mm. Let me see. Have? I don't know, teacher. All right, and the list, the list of verbs, go to the list of verbs, okay? okay? If you don't know, go to the list of verbs and find it on the list of verbs. I haven't had. I haven't had this much fun since I. Um. Are you still a kid or? Been or a kid. Uh huh. Since. I've been a, a kid. No, because are you still a kid? Are you a kid now, Cindy? 
Are you a kid now? Uh huh. Since. Okay. Question, question, Cindy. Are you a kid now? No, that was not me. Uh, was who was that? Uncle. Lily. Lily. <laughs> okay, Lily. Are you a kid, Lily? I was a kid. Uh -huh. Okay, because you're not a kid anymore. Very good. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see who is next. Ivan, number six. Things have changed. Have changed a great deal at Coltec. Go ahead, go ahead. A great deal at Coltec. Coltec Inc. Incorporated. Okay, incorporated. When we first started working here, three years ago, the company only had? Uh -huh. Only had? Six employees. Six employees. Uh -huh. Six employees. Since then, we have expanded to include more than 2,000 full-time workers. Okay, we have expanded. Okay, very good. We have expanded. To include more than 2,000 full-time workers. Right, and probably it's gonna keep expanding, okay? Exactly. We don't know, but at the moment, yes. Okay, number seven, Mario. I told him to stay on the path while he was hiking. 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 But, but he, I don't know what is the meaning of wonder. Wonder is like he was not sure. Okay. Uh huh. But he was, uh, he won't, I don't know. The, the the this verb I didn't see it before, but okay, he so it's a regular verb. It's a regular wonder verb. It. But he wonder wonder of into the forest and was beaten by the snake and was beaten by a snake and here wondered. Okay, wondered. Wondered. He wondered. Es escribe así con a. Yes, he wandered off. Uh huh. He wandered off. He didn't know. Oh, sorry. He didn't know, so he went to the forest and was beaten by a snake. Okay. And do you know what is hiking? Hiking is go for a walk. But like, for example, to a mountain or to the it's like forest. a trip. It's like a trip. It's like a trip. It's like a trip. Okay. okay. Like, for example, when you go to uh, San Salvador Volcano, Santa Ana Volcano, Isalco Volcano. Okay. So you go hiking. Okay. okay. Now, rock climbing. Rock climbing is when you uh, climb the rocks. We understand with your hands and with your feet. But hiking is more like walking. Okay? Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me put it clearly for you. Okay, can you see the pictures? Yes. 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 So that is yes, hiking. Teacher. That is hiking. Okay. That is hiking. Walking. Okay. And because sometimes we confuse with this. 
But this is a different story. Okay, that is rock climbing, okay? Can you see it? Yes, teacher. That is rock yeah, climbing teacher. and hiking is just walking, walking. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go back. Okay, very good. So the next one, number eight, who is next, Carla? Number eight, listen, Donna, I don't care if you miss. Missed, pronunciation T, missed the bus this morning. Okay, and as you can see, that is a completed action in the past. So you. You. Was late to work. No. Now, is there a connection? Is there a connection with the present? In this sentence, is there a connection with the present? Yes, right? To work too many times. <laughs> Uh -huh. So what are you going to use? So what are you going to use, Carla? You was. No, because if you say you was, is because that happened and is already completed. But when you say here, you want to say here, usted ha estado, usted ha venido tarde a trabajar muchas veces. You have been late. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. So you have to say you have been late. late to work too many times because there is a connection with the present. So you are? Fine. Fire. You are fire, right? And that is the connection. You have been late to work too many times. Okay, number nine, Brenda. Uh, Sam is from Colorado, which is hundreds of miles from the coast. So he saw, never no. saw? No, because there is a connection, a negative oh. connection to the present. Sing. Uh -huh. yes. And the auxiliary. Sing. So he. Okay. He's what is the auxiliary? How? Have is for I, uh, you, we, and they. Has. He, uh -huh, he, okay. has, he never has seen never seen the ocean. Seen the ocean. That is correct. He has never seen the ocean. He should come with us to Miami. He should come with us to Miami. <laughs> Okay, very good. The next one is for uh, Brenda, Brenda, who is next? Maria Reyes, number 10. How sad, let me teach her. How sad, George has dream, dream, um... Has dreamed of going, uh -huh, go ahead. Of going to California before, before his diet. Before he but died. But he didn't make diet. But he didn't make it. He has seems never the ocean. No, because he is dead, right? Before he died. So he is dead. But he didn't make it. Uh huh, exactly. So. He so he's he never, never he never, never saw so the, the ocean the ocean and why why because he's dead there is not a possibility that he can see the ocean in the present or in the future okay. right because he's dead is that clear now yes. in the case of Sam Sam is from Colorado okay 
So he has never seen, but he's, he's alive. So he can come that he has never seen the ocean. He is still, because he's alive, he is still have, has the probability to see the ocean because he's alive. Okay? Okay, the next one. Uh, who is next? Mario. In the last hundred years, traveling became much easier and very comfortable. Okay, now, in the last hundred years, traveling became much easier. Okay, very good. And continue. In the 19th century, it's taken two or three months to cross North America by covered bed wagon. Wait, 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 again. In the 19th century, Okay? okay, that is in the past, right? It's okay. already finished. Yes, in 19th century, it took uh -huh. two or three okay. months. It took two, two or three months to across North America by covered wagon. Wagon. wagon, 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 by covered wagon. Okay. Do you know what is a wagon? Wagon. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is, but uh, this is a wagon. Okay, let me show you. Okay. okay. This is a wagon. Okay, can you see it? Okay. So I this is, it. remember, we're talking about the 19th century. So the wagons okay. were like this to go across uh, the United States. So, so those are wagons. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, very good. So let me see, let me see, let me see. Where were we? Okay, so. So took two or three months to cross North America. Remember that 19th century months. is a, from 1800 it was to 1899, right? It's like almost 100 and almost 200 years ago. The trip, the trees, the trip was very rough and often dangerous. And often, okay. Pronunciation, often. Don't pronounce the T. Okay, often. Often dangerous. Often, 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 often dangerous. dangerous. Okay. Continue. Things has changed. Okay. Now, things is singular or plural. Plural. Uh, plural. So what is the auxiliary? Have or has? Has changed. No, no has. Have. Only has. one has. thing, one thing has changed. Okay. Has plural, changed. Have. Have changed. Have changed. Okay, because remember, those things, the pronoun for things is they. The things, okay. they okay. have changed, okay? Have okay. changed. A great, a great deal. deal in the last 150 years. Now you can fly from New York to Los Angeles in a matter of hours. In a matter of hours. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Now let's see who is next. Eleonora, number 12. Okay. Johnny, I can't believe how much you're changing. Wait. You change? Already in the past, or you still changing? Mm. Past. In the past, I can't believe how much. How would you say that? No puedo creer cuánto cambiaste o cuánto has cambiado. Has cambiado. Eh. Uh -huh. So that would be how much you how how change. Have changed since the last time I, I saw you. Since the last time I saw you, that is correct. Because the last time is in the past. So, saw you. Very mm -hmm. good. So, you, uh, you, um, the grow. Do you know what is the meaning of grow? And the, you, you grow. You grow, you grow at least a foot. 
Okay, you have, right? You have grown, grown at, least at least a foot. A foot. Okay, that is if mm -hmm. he's still growing, like if he's an adolescent or he is a kid. Okay. If Johnny is a kid right now, if he is 30 years old, probably he won't grow up anymore. Okay. At least physically. Mm -hmm. Number 13. Let me see who is next. Aha, uh -huh. Carla, number 13. Number 13. This tree have been planted by the by the sellers who found okay. our city. Has been planted or was planted? Was planted. Was planted, was right? Planted. Yes. Uh -huh. By the settlers. By the settlers who found our city over 400 years ago. And here, 400 years ago, is telling us that that was then. Okay. The action finished 400 years ago. Was planted and they found the city at that time. Number 14, Brenda. Um, this mountain. Um, Wow. Has never been? Exactly. Has never been climbed. 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 climbed by, by anyone. By anyone. By anyone. Several mountain, Mon mountaineers. 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 Why? No. <laughs> Because there is a connection to the present. Oh. Many mountaineers. Uh, try? No, not try. No, ha, ha, uh -huh, have. Has, have tried to reach the top. Exactly. Muchos montañeros. Mont ¿Cómo le llaman esto? Montañistas han tratado. Okay, and they are, they are trying and they will keep trying to reach the top. Okay, go ahead. But nobody... But nobody uh, have ever has ever and that is a regular verb. I don't know. Uh -huh, but nobody has ever succeeded. Succeeded. Uh -huh. Pero nadie ha nunca tenido éxito. Succeeded. Okay, continue. It's extremely difficult and many people died. Uh, try, try to reach the sun. No, but now. People die, so that means that no more people is going to die, or no more people are dying trying to reach the top, or there is a connection in the present. It's a connection. Uh -huh. So many people have died. Have died. Trying, trying. to reach the summit. Trying. The summit. And the trying. summit is, trying. The summit is la cima. Okay. Yes. And many people have, di have died trying to reach the summit. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, the next one. Who was that? Uh, Irving. Okay. I have visited never. I have never. I have never uh, visited. Uh, what Africa? is the past tense of visit? Visited. I visited. I visited Africa, but I traveled. I traveled. I traveled. Uh -huh. So that means that you are not going to travel anymore. Mm -hmm. 
that I traveled. Uh -huh. But I when have... I say I travel, it, that means that I finish. I, I won't travel to South America anymore. Okay. When you say I, I travel. I have travel. Ah, okay. I have travel. So that means that I happen? might I might go again. Okay, I have gone again. The last time I gone to South no, America. The last time. I, the last time is I went. I went exactly because that one has already finished. The last okay. time is already finished. I went to South America. I I visited. I the past tense visited. I visited Brazil and Peru. And Peru. Okay, very good. I spent. I spent two weeks in Amazon. Okay, I spent two weeks in the Amazon. Okay, very good. Go ahead. Um, hike, uh, I don't know anything. Hike. Uh -huh. This is a regular verb. So the past tense is only add D. Hike. Hike. For a week. For, for a week. Uh, near Machu Picchu and fly. And what is the past tense of fly? Fly. No. Flu. Flu. And flew over the Nazca line. Over Nazca line. line. Okay, very good. Do you have any questions? No. Hello, guys, do you have any I questions? I don't have, no teacher, I don't have any okay, questions. Okay, now look, this is a matter of practice. Remember, all you have to think is, okay, is if it is a finished action, simple past. If it is an unfinished action, present perfect. If it is a finish, uh, an action that it doesn't say, but it has connection with the present, present perfect. If it doesn't have connection with the present, simple past, okay? Now, I, I would like you, this is an English test. Okay, I would like you to start doing this. The simple past of this and what is the present perfect of this. He listened, example, simple past, he listened. Okay, and the present perfect is he has listened. He has listened, okay, that's it. Okay, so you continue doing that. Now, this question, when do we use which tense? Cuando utilizo que tiempo? So there are five questions, you answer it. And put the verbs in the correct tense, okay? And there is a little paragraph, so you can put the verbs in the correct tense, okay? So, okay. So go ahead and do the exercises and tomorrow we will check, okay? Okay. And Thursday okay. we will see the last topic of section number four. So this weekend you can work on section number four, okay? And okay. finish it. Okay, okay teacher. Guys? Okay, thank you very much for your time and I will see you tomorrow night, okay? I will see you. Yeah. Too, I will see you. Okay, very good. Have a wonderful Have a night. night. See you later on, okay? See you tomorrow night. Okay. See you guys. Bye-bye.